Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be uh, taking a look at this little fellow for you to um, review it and I'm going to give it a workout in the uh, down in my workshop too so uh, what we'll do is we'll get it out of the packaging and we'll have a closer look okay so here it is and I'm sure uh, quite a, a lot of you out there have, uh, at the car boot sale have come across very similar looking uh, wrenches that look like this uh, this is um, one I, I borrowed from work uh, for, for this uh, review. Um, this is not a bad one actually, Fry Wedge Boy. Um, it looks like it's made in Germany I guess, Chrom Vanadium, I would say. Germany, it's not in too bad a condition, it's chrome plated. Um, you can see it's a lot smaller than the one I picked up from the car boot sale and it works in a slightly different fashion too uh, this one and as on the I mean you get some cheap ones of these are really cheap and nasty versions of these things out there that wouldn't last five minutes and they're probably even made from paper mache or something but you can see how this one works uh, look how this one differs this is a much better design I think in my view you've got little uh, grippy teeth just here as well um, it says patent pending, so whether this is some kind of um, prototype, I don't know, but it's nicely finished off. Uh, there is uh, this stamped into it, no idea what that means. I I've tried searching that on the internet and get nothing back at all. There are the sizes. Um, this, is, uh, this one's uh, quite a lot more unique and a lot more flexible than this one here, because you can see it's just a very lightweight, thin handle on it. This one's got a much thicker, nicer handle and also it's articulated at the ends something which you can't do with the uh, standard cheapo versions which means we can use it like so we can see here the different sizes these uh, two wrenches will handle both of them will handle 8 to 14 millimeters and over this end smaller one will do 15 to 22 millimeters and the uh, my the star by 15 to 24 millimeters so it'll handle larger bolts and I think the star by on the right here will work a lot better with nuts and bolts because you can see how it's uh, designed it's nice and flush there whereas the uh, the cheaper versions you get out there it just fits inside, so you've got um, you're gonna have probably have a problem handling maybe the smaller nuts because it might not get hold of them properly because you've got quite a bit of a distance just in here between the uh, obviously between here and the uh, this bit here, the uh, little arm there. This one came from my favorite uh, vintage tool stall uh, at the car boot sale the other week, and he did actually have two of these. And I'm beginning to wonder if I should have picked them both up. Um, next time I go along to the car boot sale, I'll have a look and see if he's got the other one. If he has, I'll most likely pick it up. It's quite a nice looking thing. It's quite heavy, uh, solid, very well made, I think. I mean, look at the uh, design here, look. Very, very nicely made, very solid, quite heavy too. So I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. We'll uh, take both of these little fellows down to my workshop and we'll give them a bit of a workout. Uh, a little warning though, it is pretty damn cold down there so you better bring your woolly hats along. Hey Google, how cold is it outside today? The low temperature today will be two degrees. <laughs> God, it's cold down here. Anyway, we're down into the workshop with these little fellows here. Let's see if we can find a range of nuts and bolts we can try. Alrighty then, let's give these a go with the two wrenches here and I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll start with the smaller one and work our way up. Okay then, so what we have here first off is an M6 nut and bolt here. Try the little uh, fry wedge on it. Let's see where we've got to go that way right. And so we get the uh, get it the right way round, which I believe is this way round. Get it hooked up on there, hopefully in such a way as we can see what's going on here. Let's have a look, see if it'll work with this one here. Um, no, wait a minute, oh there we go, it was resting on the washer, 
the lighting's a little crazy in here because of the, all the reflections going on, but uh, let's give it a go, see if we can tighten it up, see how well it works. This is a little uh, fry wedge, as I say. I don't have tight vices, that's better, right in. As you can see, oh, I don't know, it's slipping around in the vise a bit. And you've got this cam action so you can uh, ratchet it, shall we say. That seems to have done a fairly decent job. On the, the nuts there. Can we get it off though? Let's have a look. There we go. That's got it. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's bring in the uh, much larger... Um, whatever that is. Black RFX. And try that one, shall we guys? Again, we'll try not to rest the, um, the spanner on the washer down the bottom, which never helps at all. Let's give it a go. Okay, I've got a much better grip. This is much more comfortable, and I'm pretty sure I could strip the thread with this one if I wanted to. That's definitely got it very nicely in there. So this is much better uh, at doing its job than the other one, the cheaper one. So this is a much nicer... There we go. Got it again. Look at that. Okay, so let's move along to this much larger M8 here. Um, it should be able to take it. This is um, 10 to 14 mil. That's interesting. Right, in. let's give it a go. Will it fit in here? Yes, it will. That's got it. Let's give it a go. Yeah, I've got quite a good... Um, amount of torque on there, look, that's good. Can we get it off? It's actually working with this uh, larger uh, nut and bolt a lot easier, this one. Right, let's try the, uh, the much nicer, much nicer version here. Let's try this one on there. See how good we can get this one torqued up. And again, it's a much nicer fit, it's much nicer all over, much nicer to get hold of as well on the thicker handle. As you can see, it's much nicer to get hold of. So let's see how much torque we can apply. And it's a lot easier and you can get a lot more and I'm pretty... Uh, again, I think I could probably strip this if I wanted to. Cool, wow, there's a fair amount of torque there. That's pretty good, is that? And it's a lot easier to um, put on than the, uh, the, the, the fry wedge. There we go. Much nicer, like that. Right, let's try it in its articulated position. There we go. Look at that. So you can get into something that's a bit difficult. Let's give this a go then. Give it a try. It's a bit more awkward at this angle, but um, if you needed the angle, you can certainly uh, get there with it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. And of course you'll have to flip him over get it undone like so there we go what about this M10 um, yeah probably not turn him over try this way and the right way around as well this is the uh, fry wedge it gets into there very nicely look at that wow let's give it a go then yeah it's a bit uncomfortable because you've got this thin old handle here so it's um, not all that comfortable to uh, tighten it up, but um, I've got a fair amount of torque going on there. Let's see if we can get it off. <laughs> yep, got it. Right then. Let's bring in the big boy. Get that one going on there, see what it's like. Should be a lot more comfortable to use. Hooks up quite nicely as well. Hang on, here we go. Hooks up quite nicely as well. Of course, we've got a much nicer um, handle on here, so we can get a much nicer grip. As you can see, it's uh, talking it up quite nicely too. And this is fairly tight now, but I can get even more on there. Look, push them over. Trying to get hold of the washer. We don't want to get hold of the washer. Right, there we go. Let's get him undone. Wow, yeah, nice. So here we have um, an M12 nylock washer here. So it'll only go down so far by hand and then it'll stop. So let's see how good at ratcheting these things are. 
Oh, it fell off. Pretty good on the old uh, fry wig there. Let's try the uh, much better version. Here we go. Yep, that's even better. I like the cam action. Okay, moving down to the bottom of the bolt we have a full nut here, as you can see let's uh, give them both a go on that, oh hang on, there we go, let's try the uh, fry, wig. fry wedge first, oh yeah here we go, now this is uh, as I say because the handle is so thin um, and you've also got the little hook going on in the palm of your hand just here, um, it's not very comfortable at all to use this little thing. In fact, it's not really that tight and I'm, it's quite uncomfortable already. Ah, that's about as far as we're going to go with that one, I think. Oh, wow, yeah, got it. So let's move along to the much nicer star by wrench here. Let's try that one. Get him on there. That's much better. And you've got the much more comfortable handle going on here too. Much nicer indeed, I like that. I can get much more, hell of a lot more torque actually. You can probably see the um, bench and vice moving about. Oh, wow. Definitely got it. Oh, there we go. Got it loose as well. And is there any damage to the uh, wrench? No, there doesn't appear to be, so it's been properly hardened. That's pretty neat. What about the other end, the smaller end of things? No, it's just like when I got it. Look, well, that's good. So these are this has been properly hardened and properly uh, thought out. Unlike some of the uh, cheaper versions here, I think this one's not too bad quality-wise. Um, can't see any damage to this one, which is good because it's not mine. It did hurt my hand a little bit, you know, resting on this hook here, trying to tighten the uh, nuts up. But uh, I think you find if we could get hold of a really cheap version of one of these, we'd have uh, had some issues with damage to just in here onto this little cam cam just there. Right here, guys. I think it's about time we went back to the much warmer studio. Oh boy, that's better. It's cold down there. It's much warmer up here in the studio though. Alrighty. So, um, what do you guys think of this uh, rather interesting and heavy, well-made? Um, universal wrench. I think it's much better than the cheaper competition although having said that this is one of the better ones I've seen. It's quite nicely finished off. It is a bit thin as you can see and this part here will dig into the palm of your hand while you're trying to tighten bolts up with it. It's uh, a bit not, not very good that way. But this this much nicer design here because you can see it's how, how it's it goes thin in the middle and swells out towards the end, makes for a much nicer grip, quite like it. It actually gets hold of uh, nuts and bolts a lot better than these ones do as well. well I had a problem with the um, sitting into the washer and it wouldn't um, get hold of the nut properly. But yeah, I quite like this. As I say, he did have two of these um, last week uh, when I went to the boot sale. He had two of these, so maybe I should have picked them both up now looking at it. I say it's very heavy, very well made, um, patent pending. So whether they actually started making these, or whether the, uh, this and the other one there are some sort of prototype, I don't know. I guess we'll never know. But um, yeah. Okay then, guys, let me know what you think of the. Um, I don't know what that is, but that's meant to be the uh, manufacturer's name. I don't know. It could be Lacrex, but it looks like an F in there to me. L A C R F X. Who knows? Patent pending, one inch, five sixteenths, what, eight to fourteen mil, fifteen to twenty four mil at that end. You've got some nice little teeth going on in there, look as you can see. Get, get this, you know, it gets a really good grip. 
of the uh, fixings you're using. Quite like it. I like it a lot actually. And I say this is a much better design here because it's flat along here, as opposed to these cheapy ones. You can see how that's going to not work too well on certain sizes, isn't it? But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think, or if, if even if you've seen one of these before. This is the first one I've seen. I say did have two. Maybe I should have picked them both up. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, coming along to Rathbone Manor and taking a look at this uh, rather interesting um, articulated universal wrench type thing quite nice indeed, I like that, I'm glad I picked it up and it came in its uh, original cover too, so uh, nice ok guys, um, thanks for popping over to Rathbone Manor and taking a look at this uh, rather nice universal wrench and I'll catch you on the next video then thanks for watching Oh, Lord.